Nah. I, so hold on. I, 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 want, I, I want to know. This, Wilson. So wait, you use your hands to, to wash your face. He just does this. I'm a face Five minutes is an animal. Face wash. So I'm saying the same face wash that you have, do you wipe your ass with it? And then what? You don't. I use a soap bar for my body. Hold on. So you use a scrub, like, though? Wait, you just wash. Soap bar and your ass crap? No, no, no. And then the face? Yeah, I'm confused. Bar for my body. Yeah, that's With weird. a soap bar for my face, I have a face scrub. All right, I'm confused. All right. What is confusing about that? You just use a regular bar of soap on that's your crazy. body. That's crazy. No scrub? No. A wash bar. With them rough ass, rough, rough right, ass you're hands. You're recording. Let me pull this up. Hold on, did you sound get out my uh, hands? <laughs> oh, we're gonna have some fun today. <laughs> Got them damn alligator hands. We're gonna have some fun today. <laughs> Wilson was juggling bricks and shit. <laughs> oh, yo, Nas said he can't take a proper shower in under thirty minutes. I'm kind of rolling. I I don't take quick showers. You're gonna roll with that. You can't you can't thoroughly wash your body. I just in want you to be, just be clean. Minutes? That's in it. five to ten minutes. That is disgusting nah. to me. My opinion. Well, when I think about well, five to ten minutes, I'm thinking you just <laughs> la lathering yourself, not even scrubbing, just yeah. putting like well, some soap over the crustiness of your that's, butt crack, yeah, and like that's, that's it. That's like, like you <laughs> just let the water run just to say, "Yo, I got in the shower." <laughs> this, is, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. So if you so if you're in a rush. <laughs> You can't properly clean yourself? No, if I'm in a rush, niggas gonna wait till I take the shower. Unless, <laughs> and, and you're saying like in three minutes, like a three minute shower? Yeah. No. No, nobody said three minutes. Well, I'm it's, I'm, minutes. Hey, you said less than 10 you minutes. I'm taking three. Even if you had to, in three minutes, you should be able to properly clean yourself. Mm, no, I don't, don't trust don't, people. You don't get people don't even properly cleaning. clean themselves with regular yeah. time. What makes you think they're gonna properly clean themselves you, with you just You know three what? I, I stay cleaner than the average person, though. It doesn't take much. Wilson doesn't sweat for me to be fresh. <laughs> no yeah, evidence. So, that, so you no don't, evidence. Yeah, you don't. You don't perspire at all. You're just the uh, like that's it, huh? Just. <laughs> he sweats perfume. Yeah, pretty much for the most part. <laughs> nope. I'm very athletic. It takes a lot for me to work up a sweat. <laughs> all right. With that said, um, Brandon Killer BH Hall. Aaron Ashley Simon. Excuse the voice. I'm regular Nas. <laughs> I'm Wilson. Oh, my fault. <laughs> Yo. My fault. It just went. This happens with old age. <laughs> I was just talking yesterday. It I'm, went. I am mad at you. I'm mad. I have and I have a right to be mad. Well, build a bridge. This what's, your, is... what's your mouth be doing though? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now it's what that mouth do. <laughs> <laughs> Why your voice like that, son? I mean, you use your mouth a lot. What are you doing? Yeah. I, what did I, you, Nas? I need to know. I need to know. This is this is this is Marvel. This is our week. Like, out of all weeks, nerd out to go do your freaky escapades that you do to lose your voice. You <laughs> pick this week to, like, we've been building this up for quite some time, and you pick this week to lose your voice. I'm, I'm, help me understand. Damn, I was just talking. Can you stop talking like that? <laughs> all right, I'm done. 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 i am done i am we're going to start with Bougie uh, Bonton. Oh, you dry snitching. Why would you dry snitch? That's that's horrible. I'm going to edit it out. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Bougie Bonton. I'm sure so, nobody understands him anyway. Right. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't. His voice sounds crazy. They'd be like, what is that? That sounds yeah. like a Chinese dish. Hey, oh, who is Bougie Bonton? <laughs> Yeah, well, well, hold on. No, nah, don't, don't. For those, don't I'm disrespect. messing, obviously, because Chris is laughing, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, we're. Hold Any on. Asian hold joke. on. Any Asian joke <laughs> point right there, Chris. Yo, Nas, your voice sounds crazy. Yeah, man. this sounds terrible. Yo, yo, there's a big difference between Method Man sick on the podcast and Nas sick on yeah, the podcast. Yeah, there's a big difference. Method Man's, you know, he's smoking some weed, sneezing was, yeah. in the Versace <laughs> Method, robe. Method Man at least made it look cool. Yeah. Like, the nigga yeah. was like, yo, my bad. <laughs> Mad hip hop. Yeah. This nigga just sounds like shit. Yeah. Like, it don't even sound and He's dressed like Eric Cartman. Yeah. He got a fucking <laughs> snowball hat. Oh, oh, you got heat today. Oh. Yeah, Wilson came prepared today. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Mm. All right, fucking. Um, so, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, Bougie Banton. I, I hope I didn't fuck that name up. Please. I, I, I think I said it right. Um, <laughs> we said Bougie I, still. I, I said Bougie again? Fuck. 
Buju. Buju. Well, let me just preference this by saying I don't listen to a lot of Caribbean music outside. I know three songs from him. I know fucking, uh, I can count on my hands. What? But Bob Marley, Elephant Man. Yeah, I, I, well, I love, I don't listen to Ele- Elephant Man. I love Bob Marley. Bob Marley for me, love, 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 love. And uh, Damian Marley, I love um, that. I love, um, hold on, I can really just tell DJ, you. DJ, he's just naming off Bobby Lord. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, um, hold on, hold on, what is it, what is it? Bob Marley's the so, default uh, reggae star. Nah, nah, nah. So, Sister Nancy, the uh, one, two, that's my shit. Okay. It's a, it's a few. It's very, very few. Well, I'm I not, can't lie, though. There are probably a lot of people who can't really name any reggae artists. That's what I'm about to say. Or, it's mad Or dancehall artists. artists. Like, people yeah. thought that, like, Drake was bringing back dancehall. And I'm like, where were you during the 2000s? He, 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 yeah, this just is kind of fire, though. Huh? This just is kind of fire. Controller? Yeah, but they, they were saying No, he they said that he revived yeah, it. Yeah, like, he didn't When they completely it. missed I'm the rolling. whole 2000s era with Sean Paul and a few other people. Like, they yeah. completely missed that whole era. Yeah, that's not happening. No, so, you can't. That you, if you say that, like you weren't born then, that's it's a clear indicator that you weren't alive or well aware of your surroundings yeah. around that time. Yeah, you you weren't there. Um, but he was locked up in uh, February 2011 for illegal possession of firearms, um, conspiracy to possess cocaine with the intent to distribute as well as other cocaine federal charges. So he's home. So we want to welcome him home. Welcome back. I'm, I'm happy that he is free. Um, I'm, I'm sure we'll get music. I wonder if he even will be the same or whatever. I don't really know how that works, but of course he would. He sings yeah. reggae. Shit comes from the soul, man. But all right. So if it comes, if it comes from the soul, because I, I do, I believe that. Do you think that he will sound the same? Like the reason, the the perfect example for me is like like Shine. Like when Shine came home, he was completely different. I, I think he's gonna sound better, man. Every nigga that comes out of jail always sounds better. Gucci Mane. Did, um, you, did you Nick not Mills. just hear him when he said shine? Yeah. The, Where the, were the, you? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, did were you, you just, not just here? Yeah, like, that wasn't an edit. Were you not just here? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't an edit. <laughs> it really well, wasn't. Well, 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 to me, shine never sounded like that great. So I went to people that actually were great, like Gucci Mane. I, I Nick like that. Mills. I like that. That was, that was a cool pivot. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sharp hold, today. <laughs> so hold on, no, no, no. I just want to be clear. So now you've already knocked Prince. You're now knocking Shine. Are we gonna go back to this Prince stuff? No, I'm not. You gotta live that. Cause, cause there, there was a lot of people in the comments on YouTube. A lot of cute comments in there. Can you please advertise the uh, the, the chat room where they could talk to me directly? No. <laughs> Bro, they can't <laughs> even you see you, that? so that's oh, not okay. even fair. Yeah. They can't even see you, so like, what no. are they gonna look at a black screen? Yeah, it doesn't matter. When they talk to you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they're no. talking to me without seeing me now. Like, why can't they? No, they're not talking to you. They're talking at you. Yeah, they're All talking right. at you. Apparently, my peers don't want me to have a rebuttal. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, not really. No, no. Okay. Not really. No. They're um, already telling us to cancel you. Yeah. So. Okay. We're, yeah, we're not canceling you, though. So. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you, Brandon. Yeah, you know. We're just going to have you go on another vacation. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. There you go. <laughs> um, all right, so. Damn, these are my friends. Yeah. We support you. I do hey. support you. Friends gotta be real with each other. Yeah. I'm just saying. Though. I support you. Word. Gotta be real with each other. Uh, okay. Thought you guys were gonna roll with me on that one, but you didn't. Absolutely uh, yeah. not. No, when no. you said some crazy, okay, we're not even gonna go back. You say too yeah. many crazy shit. I can't. Yeah, I'm not rolling. Like, Come to Yo, a point. The, the funny thing is, um, I, I, and I won't reveal the the person that was in my DMs that that said this, but they said, "Yo, I'm almost certain that uh, you guys have Wilson just say all these crazy things just for clickbait." And I said, no, no that's, he that's, actually believes this that's, shit. that's really him. No. <laughs> he <laughs> actually you. believes this is really stuff. him. You know the most hurtful thing that people said lately? Oh, they, they called me a troll. <laughs> that's dismissive. <laughs> it is, though. And it, and is. it implies it that is. I'm ingenuine when it comes to my uh, my is. thoughts and opinions. <laughs> I, re- I, re- I do wish, I really do wish that people really knew you and knew that that's re- like a lot of the things that you say on the show, it's not for yeah. shock value. It's, it's not for, yeah, it's not for troll purposes. It's not for uh, to get a rise out of you people it's he this, really genuinely feels the way that he feels when he says says yeah. these things it's the same convo on camera yeah as yeah. off camera it is but it that's is. why we it react is. the way we do because if he was trolling i don't we wouldn't be reacting the same way like well, we react a, like oh my gosh yeah like the we fuck he just said well that's the <laughs> other thing the, the person said that it just doesn't seem real like we genuinely no. give our real reactions on this show mm-hmm. when when he speaks so just want to put that out there but yeah there's whatever. no fake shit going on yeah not you at see all. me in the chat room <laughs> 
fucking <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> Whoever's about to jump in the YouTube comments right now, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you can find him at Instagram.com slash O Wilson, W Y L S O N G R P, if you want to DM him. Word. Well. Um, <laughs> all right, so Mad Albums dropped. I didn't get to listen to him. <laughs> Keep it in a buck. I tried listening to Triple uh, X's album. I couldn't because today is really not a good day for me. It was all over the place. It yeah. was just, mm, I'm good with it. Like, I'm just good with all of that, you know? Alicia Cara's album, though, was, Alicia, I like that yo, one. Yo, Alicia's car, Alicia Cara's album is really, really good. Yeah, I like, really like that one. Really, really, really good. Do you, um, and I was listening to it, right? Because she's only like 21, 22. 22. Do you think that her music is too mature for her to the point where it could be conflicting with, like, her branding? You get what I'm saying? Like, her, her music is very, very mature for her age. You know what? I, I don't think so, because there are people her age who are like that. I mean, I was like that. I was very mature for my age yeah. around the same time. And, like, you know, she, she had a one song out that was talk to, talking about basically being, like, antisocial, even though you are at a social event. Yeah. And I feel that, because I'm the person who's off in the corner, like, I don't really want to talk. I just want to chill. Yeah. Like, Boy, don't come up to me, ask me how I'm doing and everything. Like, just let me be. Yeah. So I don't think it's necessarily that. I just think she's just showing another side of of young people. And there are individuals. Like, not every young person is an idiot doing stupid shit. Yeah. I mean, we see that stuff on social media, but not everyone is like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just think that is she's just speaking to who she is. And it clearly resonates with people because I went to one of her live performances. It was actually really dope. And yeah. people were really into it. Yeah. Hold on, I want to hear what uh, what Nas has to say. Never heard of her. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But, I knew it. But I must say, if you're thinking that her music is mature, they said the same thing about MJ when he was singing his songs at seven, seven and can nine. You, can you speak up? When he was singing, <laughs> when he was singing those si those same songs at seven and nine, that Smokey wrote for him. So they was like, oh, all these songs. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I, that, all right, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I think it, it just, you know, it honestly, it's just, I don't know. We can't really sit here and say what is mature or what's not because we also really don't know who she is as a person, That's right? True. That's true. We know, because a lot of times people think that they really know artists, but some artists only show you what they want to show you. They yeah. don't show you the full person. So, like, we can assume based off of what kind of content she's putting out, music putting out, but she might have been one of those old souls as a kid. There's, like, I was always an old soul. Yeah, I'm old So, soul. you know, it, it is what it is. Yeah, you're definitely an old soul. 100%. What kind of soul would you say you are, Wilson? Newborn. <laughs> would you classify yourself as a millennial, even though you're not a millennial? Well, you, I, techni I guess technically yeah, he you is. would be. He's I, a baby I, boomer. I, right? I buy you. <laughs> All souls, I would. No, you don't. All right, all right. No, you don't. No, you don't. This is I can't. I can't. I can't. Souls of the future. <laughs> souls. <laughs> souls of the I now. embody all souls. You can't even say that with a straight face. I do. <laughs> you don't. I do. Just you because don't. I don't like Prince doesn't mean that I don't embody you the soul you of the old. Yeah, but that's that's where you're wrong. You can't say I embody all souls and don't like Prince. No, because I like Sam Cooke. Way better singer than Prince. Prince's voice. Can you not? Is original. Can you not? Is original. <laughs> it's not that vocally pleasing, though, to me. Miguel's voice is way better. All right. So you dictate an artist's bit. Okay. All right. I'm not going to go I'm there. You, I'm, I'm not, not saying he's not there. a legend. I'm not going to go there. Let's not go there. For 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 the YouTube commenters, we're not going to go there. We're going to yeah, stop right there. Yeah, we're not doing it. Um, yeah. So for me, X's album, um, again, I, I still have a, a hard time listening to him. Um, it's, it's just something about just the, the way his story ended. And mind you, like, it's weird. It's, it's, it's only him. Like, I can listen to Big. I can listen to Aaliyah sometimes. I can listen to Pac. His music, for for whatever reason, when, as soon as I hear his voice, I just I just can't. It just does something for me. And mind you, I've never been a fan of his. Like I never was an avid fan. I never was, uh, you know, listened to all of his music. But it's just something about when I hear his voice. Like even on 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 the Carter Five, like hearing his voice on mm -hmm. that on that project for me, I was just like. Do you think it's because for some of the acts that you said, we actually didn't physically uh, or sight-wise see that person dead while with him, his body was dead all over social media? 
Could be. But I mean, the the pictures, the autopsy pictures for like uh, Pac. for Pac came out, and that shit was gruesome. Like, yeah, that was that was different. And like, I remember, I I'll never forget. It. I I was home watching the news, and like that shit was just plastered, and I yeah. was just like, wow. Was that picture real? Though I heard that picture was fake. No, it was real. It was real. It was real. At least from what I was told, I thought that was confirmed yeah. to be real. There was like a, another picture. Uh, it was like maybe like three pictures that were floating around that time. Uh, two of those pictures were not real. Um, they were photoshopped, but the one picture that the news actually posted, they posted uh, like the blurred out version. Then mm-hmm. someone posted it online, and when they took out all the blurred out shit, and uh, whoever sold that picture to the news, it was a pretty gruesome picture. That was back when the internet was real. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, paparazzi was super real back then. Dead ass. You no, know I got from the X album, and I feel like, uh, and not to be a Kanye stand, I'm not even gonna talk about Kanye. But the song with sure? Kanye, the song with Kanye, I think that X could have fucking brung like heavy metal to like the mainstream. I, th- I thought that he sounded dope on that song. Doing the heavy metal shit. Oh, yeah, you didn't listen to that. No, album. I listened to the album. I just couldn't. Did you listen to that part? I listened to it. You don't think that I, shit was fire? I think I get what you're saying. Wait, heavy metal I think, to I the mainstream? I think he did something with that. But. He, 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 does, he doesn't encompass all souls. No, but he's saying I get what I get what he's saying. I think he's saying mainstream like heavy hip-hop. metal's not mainstream right now. I was gonna say, what about like people yeah. who are like Limp Bizkit and a few others? Yeah, but yeah, name somebody, but... name a famous rock band right now that's heavy metal. I don't know. That's, there, there is none. It's not mainstream. You, but you can't, you, yeah, but you well, can't no, say that because that's like a Slipknot. It, yeah, Slipknot. Yeah. Slipknot. But slipknot. some of the rock, I wouldn't say have heavy metal, but they do encompass certain. Aspects so, of it. So this is what, yeah, this is the way I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it like hip hop right now is the is the number one genre. Yeah. If 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 what I think Wilson's trying to say is correct, I think taking a hip hop feel and then re-releasing a music like that with a rock type of feel would would probably mm-hmm. bring it back to the forefront mm-hmm. for heavy metal. I just don't know that. To it what would, audience though? That that's what, what I was about to say. Yeah, that's, not, that's what I was about to say. I don't know that it would would directly go to heavy metal. Alternative rockers. That's, that's what I'm saying. Mainstream. It would expand it to other audiences. I don't know. Like us in this room, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because, like, I mean, I feel like we've gone, and obviously, like, you know, it can change. But I remember the rock era with Warp Tour. You know, yeah. At, like Paramore. You had Blink 182. You had so many Slipknot. different ones. And during that time too. Um, I have a brain fart. Uh, Jay Z uh, with uh, Lincoln, 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 Lincoln Park. Park. Yeah, yeah, but you can't name one band within the past ten years. I mean, there are bands, but I mean, I just don't think don't right know. now that that's, that's the. But that's. I, but we we don't know if he's gonna bring yeah. it back, right? Because it's like certain things have its time and its era, and it can come back later on. But I just right now, like hip hop is at its all time high. Yeah. So I don't think that necessarily it would have brought it back. We don't know. It would have, could have, should have. I mean, Warp Tour it's, ended. It's tough to few say. other yeah, groups no say. more. Paramore doesn't even do its typical rock style. They do more kind of like poppy sound now. So it's just kind of like, I don't know. Like yeah. we can't really say that he can or cannot at this point, but I don't know. That's a good observation though. I don't know. I mean, I guess we would never know at this point. <laughs> it's like, no, we're not. Like the shoulda, coulda, woulda. So, but um, I don't know. I guess I'm I'm sure his his fans are are happy that music is out and fucking, or maybe they're not. I don't know. Do you think? Um, I wonder if this was an album that was in the tuck. That's the other thing too. Like the way the the records flow into each other, or or did la- not or flow. lack thereof. Yeah. I'll say, I I don't feel like. I yeah, wonder. Put out music. Yeah, like this for me just feels like, hey guys, we just want to put this out. This is another X project. I don't know that he would be happy with this project, and I don't know that he would have arranged it this way. No. Unless um, we could totally um, be wrong, and this could be like. I think his mom was involved. Would put it up. His mom was involved. Yeah, his mom was involved. Involved. Yeah, it just didn't seem like it flowed like. It, you know, <clears throat> it, it just it went from one thing and then the next song was like a, a quick drastic change, yeah. then a quick drastic change. I personally couldn't I couldn't stick with like past two listens. Yeah, you don't, I couldn't. You, you don't know it's where just it's all going. over the place. Yeah, you didn't know I where can't it was do going. that. Now, uh. if it was like single generated, OK, yeah. but not like a whole project like that. I couldn't. Yeah, I agree. Um, all right. Well, congrats to him. Uh, there's a uh, 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 21 Savage forgot to put out his album. I thought that that was some real nigga shit. Let me just be clear. <laughs> At least he was honest <laughs> about it. That marketing ploy. Yeah, that. Well, yeah, he yeah. doesn't press the button for his shit to drop. Fair. Listen, 
<laughs> that's, artists have a release button now. Yeah, that's that's how I'm looking at this. Enter. You know how I, many artists I, would have pressed that fucking button I, that got shelved? Yeah, I looked at this. That that that's how I looked at this. I looked at this <laughs> like, all right, um, my album is not releasing on the on the day where I said it was gonna release. At least I'll make light of this. Kind of what like kind of like what uh, Tiana Taylor did with her album when her album didn't come out that that uh, Friday morning, and she was like, "Hey guys, I'm waiting for my album too." Like I think this is one of those times where you take the time out to say, "All right, fans are gonna kill me. They've been waiting for this body of work. Let me just go and say something." Uh, so yeah, I, I think it's 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 a ploy. I don't know that the album was ready, and I don't know that he has the power to just go and release it unless he he's independent. That that just happened, and I know that he's not. He still doesn't have a button. Yeah. No artist really has a button unless you're independent. Yeah, the he has a button that notifies the button pusher. Yeah, yeah. Independent <laughs> art, independent artists normally have the button. Like, like we got the button. Yeah, we got the button. We got the button. We <laughs> drop, we drop whenever the fuck we want. We got the button. No, yeah, we, yeah, we got the button. That's no, fire. we got the button. We got the button. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. <laughs> Sounds like Nas's voice is coming back too. It's trying. He's trying. Shut the fuck up. He's <laughs> trying. <laughs> Nigga waited for your voice to come back. Word. And shut the fuck up. Just to shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, what a scumbag. Yeah, it was. Scumbag. All right. Um, Grammys. Grammys. Do we? I personally don't care about the Grammys. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't care know. about the Grammys. Um, but there there were some notable s- snubs that that I guess should have gotten the Grammys. But I do know that there's a closeout time to get like for the Grammys to submit your albums or, or whatever yeah. the case may be. So there's also um, even like apparently um who said it? I think I think Yo from DJ Booth said that even like selection for the performances is like a whole different it's group. It's a whole different group. Correct. I was like dang um, so hold on, Chris. Chris said that he had some notable slu- uh, snubs. This is our insider. It's really not, but we're gonna call him our insider, our Grammy insider. <laughs> So who who are the snubs? Nicki Minaj. Okay, Nicki Minaj. Elamai got snubbed from Best New Artist. Okay. Um, that's all the two off the top of my head real quick. Okay. okay. So so in in in, in essence, they, yeah. the Grammys got it wrong again. <laughs> but I mean also like, people were saying that they were better based upon the nominees that they had. Um I think which one? There's like one part, um, let me get the whole nominees list. Is it really a snub though if you have no chance of winning? <laughs> um, no. Yeah, o- only because even if you if you don't have a, a chance of winning, people do take pride in just being nominated. Who's in that best new artist category? Do you know, Chris? Uh. So I'm looking at the list Georgia now, but this Smith. is like Georgia B- Smith. She's B- fine. Uh, uh, what's her name? So Damn. best. Her so name. best new artist. Right here. Oh, you have the list. Yeah, okay. I have it. It's. Sorry, let me open. Best new artist right here. Chloe and Halle, Luke Combs, mm-hmm. Greta Van Fleet, yeah. her, Dua Lipa, Margot Price, BB Rexa. Sounds like Ari her Rexa. better win that. Georgia Smith. Her got nominated for Mad. So I know four uh, of those people. How many how many uh, Grammys did her get nominated for? It's like four or five or something crazy? It's yeah. several, yeah. yeah. She had yeah. several. I think Kendrick had eight. Yeah. For what, the EP? Right? She. <sighs> what did she get nominated for, her? The EP? So I sure. believe so. Let me check now. I'm gonna go. Yeah, to, the, I'm I think it's the page. first one she dropped. Amazing. Yeah, it's. The, I think it's the first one she dropped that she got that. Um, then there's a lot of different. I like that. I like that song that BB did with uh, Florida yeah. Georgia Line. Yeah, five Grammy. Oh, yeah. Uh, five Grammy uh, nominations. Nobody cares. No, no, no. no. I said, I, I said, yeah. I, yeah. I no, this guy, he's an asshole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How am I asshole? I was talking about the, the, the. Oh, man. He's coming at you with the raspy voice. That's the crazy shit. He, he can't even argue with me today. Like, I, can't, I, can, I, can out, I can out yell you this entire episode. This is great. <laughs> he's overcompensating. Ooh. So the best R&B <laughs> song, Boot Up, Come Through and Chill, Feels Like Summer, Focus, Long As I Live. Ooh, Tony Braxton. Okay, girl. I like that Tony okay, Braxton. Okay, girl. I'm gonna I go see with you. Boot up. Nah, feel, feels like summer. Might, might might get that. Who's that? Um, Childish Child Gambino. Gambino. Yeah, definitely gonna get that. Yeah, I ain't without gonna, a doubt. It's e- it's either that or um, uh, the boot up record. Just star power. They just want it. They want Childish Gambino to be standing up there. It's polarizing. But yeah, but you know yeah. why he's like he's the one that they kind of let in. Well, like, he's not. They, no, they he's very talented. No, I'm not saying that he's not talented. What I'm saying is he's the one that they'll accept into that com- that small community of, of artists. Because he's Grammys. very talented. But this is the most important one right here for us. Best rap album. 
Invasions of Privacy, Cardi B, Swimming, Mac Miller, Victory Lap, Nipsey Hustle, mm. Daytona, Pusha T, Astro World, Travis Scott. Hmm. So, real quick while I have my voice. <laughs> Cardi B, if Cardi B wins, she's a dope entertainer. I feel like if she wins, that's Millie Vanilli. You're wildin'. Oh, you're she, wildin'. She didn't write. You're wildin'. Doesn't she matter. She didn't write. You're wildin'. Matter. You're wildin'. And, <clears throat> and Mac Miller, I think he, you could have put Kids See Ghost over that album. Mm. But I still want Nipsey Hussle to win. Mm, Nas, you, you automatically recruited me with Kid C's Ghost, but you're whiling talking bad about that Mac Miller album. Yeah, I'm Don't not... you know that he's dead? You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Well, I did. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I think he... Yo, that laugh, though, was suspect. I, I think, <laughs> I'm, in all seriousness, I think that he, he's up there. He has a, a few dope songs. Don't, don't go high pitch. It sounds crazy. <clears throat> he, has go few, he has a few dope songs, but <laughs> you sound yeah, better than Prince right now. He, you're not going to tell me that that's a Grammy nominated album. What? And what now? What album? Are we the Mac, about? Mac Miller one. And if Cardi B wins, you might as well give Millie Vanilli back their their Grammys. You keep comparing Cardi to to Millie Vanilli. You she can't. doesn't write. Oh, huh, Millie Vanilli. The they the, lost the, their Grammys listen, because let, uh, let, let no, be, no, they lost the Grammys because they weren't singing. This is they the, weren't even the voices. Yeah, yeah, like what are you talking about? They, they, they were literally that's disrespect to puppets. compare. Yeah, you, that's disrespect to compare Cardi to Millie Vanilli. Talk, Cardi, are, we, are we talking about rapping, right? No, we're talking but about. But she actually said the words. Millie Vanilli didn't. Yeah, you're wilding. You're wilding. That's what a whole talking? Millie Vanilli. Yeah, didn't one of them like not even really know how to speak English? Yeah, too? but the problem like, the yeah. problem is with Mill Millie Vanilli. They came on in the music business and fooled everyone. Yeah, that's they were the they, they were actors. The difference that's is the difference. yeah, the difference is they came on saying I write music, I do this, I do that. Cardi has not once ever said, "Yo, I write all these lyrics." I'm not, she's just, she's an artist. I understand that, and I'm not trying to throw any shade at her. And you're, you're throwing shade. I'm not. I'm just saying. And, we're talking about rap. There, buddy. And, we're talking and, about rap. And here, here this is how. If I you're doing it for the culture, you're talking about rap. You, right, rap, so, you rap your own lyrics. So, so if that's the case, DMX. <laughs> no, no, this is my music. thing. This is my thing. Big hold difference. on, hold on, X. Hold on, X. Listen, check this out. If that's the case, take uh, Kid C Ghost out of there because Kanye didn't write it. Don't you ever take Kanye out of there. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I know. I know. I know. He got you with that one. But Cuddy's still, still on there. I know. Cuddy's still on there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He didn't write it. If that's no, the but case, he, did get, he did get him yeah, with that yeah, one. Yeah, for, the, for the Grammys, <laughs> look, if you don't want to put her in the best rapper alive because of that, that's fine. That makes sense. Or best that, lyricist. That makes sense. She's not even in that conversation. Yeah, but if you're talking about just songs, just making music, the texture of her voice, I don't even think she puts herself in there. Cadence. You I'm gotta not, give I'm her not, the I'm shit. Not, I'm not doubting that. I'm rolling. I'm, I'm rolling. Not, I'm, I'm not rolling. saying I'm rolling. that. You, I'm rolling. that best rap album. And the other thing you got to think about too, and especially in this day and age, being an artist now is way different than what way it was. Harder. It's way more difficult the, to be an artist. You have to produce way the, more. Yeah. Change the People category see more of title. your life. Yeah. You get to judge you on more. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's more diversity. It's in more sound diverse. Too. Yeah. yeah. It's way more difficult. Mind you, you had to be more skilled back then. I'll say. You had to be skilled to be an MC, especially to, to go against the greats or be compared to the greats. Longevity-wise, is way more difficult in this day and age, only just because we're in the microwave age, and and, and we could release a record right now that could go platinum. I and wish then, we and, would. And then the next day, we could be trash. I wish we would, because we eat nah, that one hit wonder. I don't want that smoke. Sir oh, Mix-a-Lot like made a hundred million dollars nah. off a of baby got back. I'm cool. Yeah, but it's different now. You, you, you made like point zero 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 nine. No, I'm not. I'm cents. saying I want it. He shined a light on Big Butt. Wait, yeah, are you with Sir Mix-a-Lot? Yes. Or, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, the man okay, you love to hate. Page. Yeah. He's the, the man, man you love to hate. On big butts. I'm with you. don't even know that song. <laughs> but you don't know that song. But on top of that, that but on top of that though, we gotta give our credits to Nipsey Hussle because I feel like his project wasn't talked. As much as it deserved, it yeah. was Victory a good, lap. solid well, project. I, on, 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 it should, honestly, it should probably win. It say, should win. On, on my timeline, everyone was talking about Nipsey's album, including me. <clears throat> Nipsey's album is really, really good. Like, really, really, really. Wilson good. never heard it. No, but I've heard it. I've, no, I've it's heard a good project. I, I honestly would who, say that that should, that should win going, best I'll, rap album. He's out. Out. He stuttering. He's stuttering. Nah, I'm just like the pitch of his voice started to go up high. He stuttered. Who's he up against? Cardi B. What? Yeah. Wait, I just said it. Yeah, well, well, Cardi, well, 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 yeah, Cardi B is going to win that. Oh, my gosh. Cardi B, Major so? Privacy, Swimming, Mac Miller, Victory Lap, Nipsey Hustle, Daytona, Pusha T, Astro World, Travis Scott. Oh, shit. I forgot about Astro World. 
Oh, shit. Astral Roll is solid, but I don't like. You can't it. take that over Victory Lap. Oh, Victory Lap was solid. Can. That was solid. No, I'm Without not saying doubt. it's not. I'm just saying. I'm, uh, what I'm saying is, we, put we, this we, shit we, together. I'm we the get it better than it, it, Oh, you're talking from. You're time. talking from. Okay. Correct. Yeah. We, we, we get it on the ground, right? I'm talking about the way that committee <laughs> w- looks at things. They're going to yeah. go for Cardi. That's what I'm thinking. Cardi I'm, or Astral Or Astral World. That's what I'm saying. I see them going with either one of them just because, again, they're they're more mainstream. Like you could, uh, they'll be able to capitalize off of the whole um, uh, uh, Kardashian shit in a sense because obviously Travis Scott, um, and then with this guy Nipsey, Nipsey is just good just because of like his work. But I don't know that he'll beat that from no. a, a global standpoint. No, I mean we've standpoint. we've seen time and time again where they're our best album of the year and there's a very clear hip hop artist or individual that should have won yeah. and then they go with someone we're all like who the hell is this person? Yeah. Like that's why I'm like Ugh. that's also why I don't watch the Grammys although that their selection process and and like the nominees are better yeah. than the what they, they usually do. I personally still I'm don't happy about that. Wait, who? Push. They oh, push yeah. Push being but I, I personally, like, I can't, I don't entirely trust it. I, I don't entirely That's trust it because, oh, there's That's been time thing. and time again that we've seen certain individuals and we're like, oh, they put them in good. They deserve it. They're going to win. And then it's, like I said, some random person who wins and we're like, what? It Where did this it, come from? It's and bias. so It's bias but, politics. I mean, it's not even just that. It is that they're utilizing black culture, hip hop, and people within hip hop for views and numbers. The yeah. same way that people like Fortnite are using dance moves within yeah. hip hop for money purposes. Like, okay. it's, it's the same tale so, over so and over again. That dude should sue Fortnite. What? Two million? Yeah, he is. He's in the process Dance. of suing. Why? That's a waste of time and money. How? No, no, it's not. He's about to win. A dance that you he'll, made? He'll, he'll win that. He'll how win do you, win how that you copyright a dance? He'll win that. that they have he'll to at least that. give him a settlement. How do you yeah, copyright give, a dance? They'll give him some. They'll give him some. Because, because it was associated with his song, it. though. That's the difference, though. Or that he's the reason why it's popular. He'll 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 get he'll get he'll get something. You can't. And I think it was smart of him to wait as long as he did. Because I said that um, a while ago that he should have done it. But I, I think it's smarter that he waited just so the stock of Fortnite rises. Well, and I got to take you your answer with a bag. grain of salt. You also call it 6 9 a genius. So. I, still, uh, I, I still think 6 9 is, is a not? genius. I don't no, think he's not a genius. he's not. How's he not? He made millions in less than a year. Yeah, I, I don't... You can't take away his talent. <laughs> he's a genius at what he does. Music. Well, I didn't mean to swing it that way. He is. <laughs> and, and the way how he pushed himself... Yeah, like uh, just because created just, his just, online presence, just because and, and got himself and, in a whole heap of trouble. But that's the difference. See, the other the other issue too, I though. Mean, a lot of young smart people have gotten that's, themselves that's in my shit point. too. That's my point. I could look at mad people um, that got themselves into trouble. Michael Jordan got himself into trouble with gambling. Like you can you can look at amazing great people. Allegedly, he got his father killed from that it, shit. B- 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 no, I mean, yeah, gambling is still, still addiction. But that, that's uh, what I'm saying. If we want to talk about gambling, it, can, gambling's a, an addiction. Talking shit is not an addiction. How do you know that he was not a? Ta- he's, what do you mean? He, attention is an ad- attention can be an addiction. One hundred percent. What are you talking attention about? Could be an addiction, especially on social media. That can be an addiction. Yeah, I see it all the time in the comments. Yeah, coming at me. <laughs> Motherfuckers yeah. are addicted. Yeah, <laughs> chill, 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 for that chill. shit. Chill. <laughs> but no, so he I, to me six nine again is still a genius when it comes to artistry and when artistry I mean like making a record. He has a process to making a record. He knows how to push a record. He knows what it takes to gain momentum to make the record go to a different level. You're still talking about him. And that's the other thing. Ooh, just saying. Got him. That's a good point. E. You're still talking about him. X got to chill. That's, that's the coup de gras. Yeah, it is. It is. He just hit you with a coup de gras, nigga. Don't take five steps. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, I could not with you guys. <laughs> but are stupid. you guys going to actually watch the Grammys? Is anyone going to actually watch the Grammys? No. I'm probably not. I'm probably not. I don't I'm, really I'm care. I'm keeping it a buck. I don't care about the Grammys. Honestly, you don't even have to watch. You just go on Twitter and you'll see everything. Yeah. Who, who's performing? Does anybody I don't know? know? I don't know. Top uh, of the head? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Did they announce that? I'm I, not sure if they you, announced it. You know it what or the not. Grammys are like to me? The Grammys is like when you were a kid. The participation um, and, awards. And, and, <laughs> yeah. But the Grammys is like when you were a kid and you waited for Christmas and then once you got older and you found out that Santa Claus isn't real. The Grammys is Santa mm. Claus. Mm. It's not it real. It ain't real. It's not real. It's not real. Okay. Yeah, I just felt like, uh, I mean, also, I felt like uh, previously, too, they just, I feel like they also sometimes nominate people just so that person can be there, so they that's, can show it on video, and then be like, ah, you're not getting it. That's it. That's it. It's it's one big ploy just to bring attention back to the Grammys. Did you guys see what 50 Cent said? Yo, so you put the that, billboard the thing? billboard shit. Yeah, he tweeted that out. Which is really disappointing when you look at that. 
for I'm gonna try and find it so I can tell our viewers what I meant just in case it gets deleted. It's, it's, it's in the chat. Um, it's in the chat, I believe. Oh, that was Offset's tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Did you guys see that? He yeah. said, "Fuck y'all, I miss Cardi." Yeah, you should. Yeah. You well, should. that man misses. I girl. mean. Uh, we didn't do anything. Yeah, it's, a, it's a thin line between love and hate. He can get her back. Yeah. So 50 Cent said, Billboard Awards are the only awards that matter in music. The other awards pick whoever they feel like picking. It's facts. I don't see nothing wrong with that. It's the truth, as far as I know. You're the music insider. Yeah. I mean, as far as I know, that that is accurate. That is accurate. So it, then, they're, doesn't they're, that conflict with them with what uh, Jay-Z said? No, it goes it goes along along with it. No. What do you mean that the bill? Uh, we looked at billboard like is you dumb? Yeah, because he said we used to look, we used to strive Stri- for you, yeah. right? Yeah, but that's the thing. What I, what I think what Hove was saying, at least I could be totally wrong, but you Hove, are. But Hove, go ahead. Hove is saying you'll have a chance to go next, Nas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have you can't even chime in right now. What I think Hove is saying is that that was the ceiling. Oh, like we guys of blue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 roses too. Well, uh, a little satchmo. Oh. Yeah. A little, I had to. A little, uh, I had to. <laughs> little uh, Louis Armstrong, okay. Yeah, I can't wait for the comments. It's going to be like, Nas sound like. <laughs> Nas sounds like. That's what I said. All that. throughout <laughs> them shits. Yeah, that shit is great. That shit is great. And I sing to myself. <laughs> what a wonderful world. Sing it. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, no, just yeah, say it. Just say it. Just say it. Oh, Christmas is coming. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Just I'll celebrate bit. Christmas. Oh. Just a little. Wait, oh, wanna, yeah. Now you want to pull the Muslim card. Yeah, now you want to pull the Muslim card. Oh, you're oh. You're going. Nas is out the closet with Muslimness? <laughs> Oh, he's been out. Everyone knows. Yo, I swear. Oh. Where have you been? Yo, where are you every fucking week? Hold yo, boys, because yeah, I've been out the closet. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's oh, crazy. So, so, are we allowed to talk about uh, Islam at all? No, because apparently someone said we made fun of them last time. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we didn't. Even but. though Nas was just joking about himself, but that's all right. It's I don't fine. even know what I said. That guy, that person. I don't no, know I what you question. said either, but yeah. <laughs> Damn, I can't even remember what the fuck I was saying. Now. That was what a wonderful <laughs> world. Damn, I can't remember what the fuck I was <laughs> saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you know, we're talking about the billboard. We're talking about the billboard oh, yeah. uh, uh, how line. You were, how you were oh, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's so, wrong. So I, I, I looked at that uh, whole record, oh, or the, the, the reference to billboard, is like, all right, we were looking to reach this this goal of being on billboard, and now we're looking at it like we're dumb. Like, we're past that. We, we're looking at other things to achieve. Yeah. That's how I interpret that. What did you interpret it, Nas? That he was saying, this is what we used to strive for. And now that I'm at this level, I see it's really not worth anything. So I'm looking at, is you crazy? Like, I was, why am I going to struggle to impress you when I should have impressed myself? I should, I, my own self-worth goes along with the carefree, nair-free. It was all self-worth. Yeah. So that's what I think. But you're wrong. You're, the, say, the, you're saying the, the same thing that I'm No, I'm not. But, you know, go ahead. You're saying, you're saying the exact same thing. <laughs> I'm going to stay out of this shenanigans. I'm not, though. Shenanery. Oh, my God. You, do, you, you, you are aware of that, right? You got it. Thank you. Yo, y'all sound like two like siblings fighting and shit. I'm about to put, y'all on time out. I'm about uh, to put y'all on time he, out. He, he could, he, that was the oh, mo- that, I, that was the worst. You told should be my supervisor. Like you can't even like you, you can't even say anything. Like just shut the <laughs> y'all fuck are up. the worst. <laughs> just shut up. Y'all are the worst. Anyway, right. you got Wilson over here calm as hell. Yeah, I don't. I'm not know. calm. Yeah, I don't know. I've been uh, calm today. Yes, Let me turn you have. Shit up. No. No. Nope. Nope. Keep stay, it down. Stay, turn stay, down. Stay Lights down. You, stay just where you are. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So this is our nerd segment of the show, because there's a lot to get into. Hopefully, you? hopefully, you know, Louis. Yo, I here. apologize. My voice is messed up. Yeah. Well, you don't. Don't. How about that? Just don't. Um, don't use your mouth too much. All right. So hold on. So, uh, <laughs> you've been, you been wild all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out the closet, all types of shit. Listen. <laughs> Uh, Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame trailers dropped. Yes. What are our thoughts? Captain Marvel is dope. I'm so I'm sold on Captain Marvel after this trailer. I so wasn't what do you mean thoughts? Like, because well, we what, see what we saw. I mean, we saw the Ronin. Wait, wait, not, not don't, oh. go, don't go there. Oh, yet. I can't go, go yeah, there don't, yet. Don't, don't go there. I yet. can't go there. Just okay, Cap- let me let me park it back Cap- here. Captain Marvel first. Captain Marvel first. <sighs> Okay. Captain Marvel second trailer that came okay. out. Okay. Forget the, the first one. second trailer. 
definitely hooked me more yeah. than the first one. 100%. The first one, I was like, mm, let me wait till the other trailer comes out, the mm. more descriptive and depth trailer. Yeah. Now that I saw it, I said, oh, yeah, this was going to be good. Yeah, me too. At least I hope it's going to be good. I'm, I'm sold. Will. I'm sold. I know. It's a Marvel I production as well. <laughs> you think this is DC? You think it's going to put out some <laughs> No, but what I'm saying is you got to be prepared. I said I'm hoping that it's good, but I'm not going to try to be that person be. that's like, ah. Yeah. It will be. No, it's got it. She's dope. She's whipping ass all over the universe. But you weren't sold on it after the first. Uh, yes, I was. After we, the first trailer, one hundred percent. No one was sold on that shit after I didn't the first hear trailer. That. No oh, one. Well. I every, didn't hear everyone that. was kind of worried, actually. Like, uh, nobody looks was kind of sketchy. Looks You're lying. Sketchy. You're Doctor Seuss. It did. You're Doctor Seuss. Oh my god. Yo, she's gonna be the most powerful person in the, the most, MCU. The most what? Well, she's about yeah. Well, I mean, I na- right now, that. yeah, yeah, she is. Dang. Right now. Yeah. Obviously, we, you know, if you read the comic books, you'll learn later on more stuff. But right yeah. now, yeah. Yeah. I, She's dope. I'm excited. Dope, yeah. I'm excited. But I, honestly, I'm just more excited for Avengers Endgame. Yeah, me too. I, I'm excited to watch Captain Marvel. But, and I know that Captain, obviously, Captain Marvel's appearance and whatever may go on with that storyline is going to correlate with the next Avengers movie. Yeah. But. <clears throat> I'm also super excited because the trailer, obviously, as you guys saw, we saw certain individuals that disappeared, Mm -hmm. but then Ant-Man was on it in that disappeared face, but we know he's going to be coming back. Yeah. Do you think that they let the cat out of the bag with this guy coming back too soon, though? I don't know. Nas. Ant-Man. No. Yes. You you got to look at the screen. I've been scouring the internet. If you look at the footage, it says start archive. When Captain America goes, is this old footage? Mm. And she goes, it's the front door. If you look at the screen where Ant-Man is, it says archive. Mm. Mm. What about Sherry? Uh, my girl is dead. She's dead. It's over. You think so? She's gone. Yeah, because oh, Captain, Captain America was there. He was in Wakanda. They were looking for her. Go and find a where's this bitch at? Oh, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> but how do we know that they all died? That's another. That's going back to what our conversation was talking about, the multi-dimensional universes. Yeah, all right, so, so let's loop fans in. So we've been, obviously, uh, nerding over this for quite some time. So we've come up with a number of different theories, obviously, that we haven't revealed to you guys. But our, our theory was just around alternate universes quantum and, realm. and quantum realm. We knew that that would, be, would, would come into play considering Ant-Man. We also knew that um, just... From the comic books, there's a number of alternate realms out there that could easily house um, the yeah. same characters that died. And if you don't know what the alternate universe is, the multi universe is, if you watch Spider Verse, you'll be able to see there's yeah. different Spider Mans in different universes. That's essentially Correct. what we're talking about: is that there's different um, characters in different universes that yeah. aren't aren't necessarily tied within the same universe, mm-hmm. but they're a part of the whole MCU universe. Correct. Correct. They're tied to everything. Yeah. So we figured that maybe those characters would come back. The only thing, especially after all of the shit I've read, the only thing that I got right uh, from my theories was the end game name of the, of, uh, the movie and then as well as Ant-Man being in it. But now that you just said that, I don't know if they're still going to go that route because I didn't really, if that's just archive video, that may change the game. Mm-hmm. Now Marvel's good at showing you a lot. And then you really don't know what the story is. Yeah, yeah. But also, they could it could just be throwing us off, too. True. It could just be throwing us off. That's true. I'm excited because I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. None of us do. do you, uh, back to Ronan. I think that they released him too soon. I, w- I was hoping that really? it, there would be with some mystique, some sort of build-up mm, There's a reason. There's a reason. He's just yeah. out there murdering people. In yeah, <laughs> like, he just wilding. He just wilding. great. Yeah, there's, I mean, I feel he like there's... Good, though. You look good. There, there, I mean, there is a reason, right? There's a reason that there's certain things that they showed us within this trailer that are going to be coming into play when the actual movie comes out. That yeah. later on will be like, oh, that's why. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I guess where do you, I don't even know if we can even speculate on where it's going. No, we don't know. I'm, I want to know what the Stan Lee um, cameo is, cameo is going to be. That's what I'm, I'm interested in knowing. So this is last cameo. It's so. going to be dope. It's got to be something. It's, like it's kind of messed up, though, if you really think about it. Nebula was watching Tony Stark die. Mm. Yeah. She, she's a robot. Yeah. Yeah, because when he did that video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was on, she's on, a, she's on that little 
Uh, so hold on. Do you think in the trailer that Tony was talking to Pepper? Yeah, he said, hello, yeah. Miss Potts. Oh, he did say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't hear it. Yeah, he's leaving her a message. He said, if you find this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he's talking to Pepper. Yeah, but Captain Marvel's going to see him. I think that's She's probably going to swoop him up. I think, yeah, I think Captain Marvel's going to save him. I, I just don't know what happens with um, with uh, Ant-Man. Like, how does he... Who goes to get Ant-Man, I guess is my question. Because he's in the quantum realm. Who Who is strong enough to go get him? There's so much. Mm. You know what but, I'm saying? Like, there's so many... He can't get himself out? No. I, no. Mm. You no. can see Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah, you got to see Ant-Man and the Wasp. Because once you're stuck in the quantum realm, you can get in there, but getting out, you need someone to pull you out. And yeah. everyone, ev- I did see it, and I just did not remember that. Oh, my Sorry. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, okay. anyway. But I'm really excited for it. I think that, like, we should do, like, a movie night. Yeah. Like, we should just all go out at the same time, watch it in the same theater. Well, um, it, well, we could do that this week. I'll tell you guys after the show. Oh, what? Tuesday. Tuesday. What? To go and see what? Screening for Into the Spideyverse. What you mean, Britt? What you mean, no? She got her hair did. Yeah, Britt got her hair did. She's like, I can't be out here flexing. Yeah, I can't Brit, be out here flexing my hair. Britt don't want to be seen now because she got her hair laid. Fuck out of here, Britt. <laughs> I don't care. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, I guess Britt won't be there with us. Whatever. She, but yeah, yeah she's getting, getting into that bag. Yeah. First of all, why is it so quiet? Everyone's so quiet and calm, especially you, Wilson. You're mad quiet over there. I don't know what you're looking up on your phone. I, I mean, I'll, I'll fuck around with Prince fans. I'm not fucking around with the Marvel people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that smoke? You know, you know, that smoke? I don't want that smoke. That's like a real cult. Some, some nigga might actually think he's Batman and try to fucking find me. <laughs> that's, that's DC. Fucking Batman. Bro, no, I, yeah, I, get, yeah, I get what that's, you're saying. That's DC. Not knowing I'll bane that nigga. <laughs> fucking break that nigga's back. <laughs> Say that's Marvel. Pause. <laughs> Oh my gosh! All right, and oh that conversation. Oh uh, what's the next topic? Um, I don't know. It was really it. <laughs> oh, I mean, Super Smash Brothers came out. If anyone cares, but I, I care. I've been I've been trying to unlock characters, and it's very difficult. I remember Smash Brothers being much easier, <laughs> or maybe I'm just old. It's but probably it. It probably. probably yeah. Well, but or you know, there's been advancements in video games since the came, could, could GameCube be that era. Could be that too. But goddamn, fighting online is extremely difficult. Those kids know all the tricks. <laughs> well, those <laughs> kids. Win. But probably some of them, they're part of the FGC community, the fighting game community, and they do tournaments and yeah, stuff. Like these kids literally play and train every single Fuck day. Those kids. Yeah, I probably have no business battling these kids. These kids, are, they don't do their homework. Go yeah. home, sit on a goddamn video game. And I'm, a, I'm supposed to fucking beat them? Uh, that's that's, that's, that's not true because the best esports player of the year is a full time student, yeah. and he also plays, so he actually does some work. That's true. That's well, he's true. in college. Yeah. Fuck him. He ain't got no job. Oh, what shit. does that yeah. even mean? I was in college and have a job. Yeah. You can't play. You can't be a full time student with a full time job, and you're the best game Hold in on. the world. It's Hold not on. a full time job though. Does you this go- kid have a girlfriend. Yeah. He's gay, so. Oh. Does he have a boyfriend? Go. It's possible. Yeah. And the boyfriend doesn't want his time? Well, well, I'm, I'm, well, the I'm, I'm assuming part of the FGC a boyfriend's community. probably way more or, reasonable. Or I was about, I was about, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> way more reasonable than you and you. He I was way more reasonable than I was, I was about to say, maybe, maybe the boyfriend plays the games with him and supports him. Could be. You can, Listen, you can play, you can be uh, really good at video <laughs> games and be a full-time student or just do other with things. With a full-time job? And yeah, there are people. There are people who have full time jobs and they're in the esports world and they're winning tournaments. What are you talking about? Because their full time yeah. job is gaming. No, it's not for some of them. It's not. It's not. I cover esports. You mm. don't know this shit. Stop mm. it. I'm not even gonna talk to you. Stop. 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 No. No. <laughs> don't. Don't speak. You like the esports community is not every person in the community is not someone who is playing the video games. All the fucking time, full time. There's some of them within the FGC and even the NBA 2K League. They actually have full time jobs and families. Yep. Talk and they are really good at playing. Talk yeah. to families. What kind of families? Talk Actual families, kids, wives, all that stuff. Like, uh, somebody should probably check on their wife. She probably. The wife is there. You know how much way. money they make enough no money. They make enough money that, that they shit. don't have to work other jobs exactly. if need be. If need be, I said if need be. Not that's, all of them quit their jobs though. That's a real job. Um, but hold on. Um, we My do. girl wouldn't let me play fucking video games for shit. Yeah, that's why she left you. All, All right, the so time with the yakety so, yak, yak, yak. Listen. Um, Stupid. So hold on, because we do have a few more things to cover. Yeah, what is it? Um, so Kevin Hart um, and the Oscars. 
Do we stand by Kevin Hart not apologizing for stuff that he's already apologized for, or should he apologize again just to host the Oscars? Is that a rhetorical yeah. question? Of course we stand by him. Hell yeah. And he's yeah, a thought, comedian who made a joke. Yeah, I thought this was kind of like a no-brainer for me. I don't know. He made a joke, and you got a little butt hurt. Go, go fuck yourself. Well, he, well even that, I, it's not so much that. I, my only <laughs> thing is, is that... <laughs> I, was, yeah, yeah, say, was. So I was waiting for him to say something crazy. That's why I had that face. I, I Well, listen, what I'll say is I, got, I gained a lot more respect for Kevin Hart with this move. Me personally. Like, that's a lot to be like, hey, yo, fuck y'all. I already apologized for the shit when the tweets came out mad years ago. Yeah, sure, I'll give up this big opportunity to host the Oscars. There'll be other events. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I have respect for Kevin Hart after he cheated on his pregnant wife and said, look, I'm just going to apologize to the world. I'm not paying you a dime. Can't extort me. Well, that was more of... If we're, it's, that's strategic it was than respectable. anything else. It was respectable. Uh, it's, it's strategic. That was a big move. That was like, ma- let me just tell the whole world yeah. so that you have nothing to extort but, me but, for. Yeah, yeah, he could have paid that little chump change, which is Trump, chump change for him. No, but you have to understand, secret. extortion can be chump change over time, over time and yeah. time yeah. and again yeah. and that, again that, and again. That, that, that was him saying, yo, no, fam, because before this if goes somebody anywhere. extorts you, you would make them sign You think that someone that's going to extort you once is going to just stick to extorting you once? No, they're gonna keep trying to get more money out of you. Yeah. Wilson, How never the get fuck did this shit turn around on me? Yeah, he it better not. Turn around on you. <laughs> it does. It, that was a that was a smart move just because he knew he had to own up to it. Like you, you can't. You'll you'll be extorted. The, mo- the it's almost like a ransom. <laughs> the moment you pay one ransom, all right, no, we we know you got the money now. You're good for it. Now pay some more, and and we want it higher. Yeah. Like you better off just coming clean and doing what you got to do. I'll There's see you next you month. Same, have you never, have, you, have you not seen like kidnap yeah. cases where they're asking for money and then they're like, oh no, we want more? Yeah. Well, well, this is why I said I respect him for not paying it and saying just apologizing. You guys are arguing my point. That's not okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, I no. I agree with this. And then um. Oh, so hold on. Does anybody know the full story of this whole shit? I know with the whole Nick Cam and uh, Nick Cannon and all these tweets. Uh, that came out he found and... Amy Schumer and Silverman previous gay jokes that they had, and I think he basically was like, "Are you gonna cancel them?" But d- definitely look that up again. But what I will uh. say is. I can understand, though, when it comes to the LGBTQI community, especially within Hollywood, that there is a... Well, not even Hollywood. I would say entertainment. That there is a certain perception that people have, especially when it comes to gay men, right? When, uh, you know, there is a little more of an acceptance from, from society when it comes to lesbians and bisexual women. But for men, they do have certain op- obstacles, and it's a little bit different. Yeah. Um, and so I can we can address that fact, even though, you know, we address this certain situation with Kevin Hart. Um, but my thing, too, is it's really interesting because there's this weird dynamic, right? There's this weird dynamic in Hollywood entertainment that we still have this perception. Uh, people still have like a not us, but people have a negative perception of gay men. But those industries are also run by gay, gay men, men yeah. and you know, gay individuals too. Like entertainment, Hollywood, it's run by gay people. It really is. I don't know why people are ever shocked. Like when people, when when prominent actors are are found to be gay, I, I don't understand it. Like, I don't. I, I feel like we're is. in a period of time where people should just not like. If someone's gay, if someone's not like, it's their life. Like, why are we now? Why are we still shocked about certain things? It's right? really not that. It's serious not that. It's not that serious. It. Really like, not. and I think it's and honestly like. It's weird because, like, as for as much we have advanced in certain capacities, we're still behind, and I yeah. just don't, I, I, I don't get it. I really yeah. don't get it. I, th- I think, but that'll, that'll, I guess, in time, hopefully, it, it will come to a point where it, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But I think we're still in the in the the time frame or the world of all right, this is shock and awe, and oh my god, this person just came out being gay. This whole time we've been fooled or whatever. Mm-hmm. That it still bothers people, and I don't, I don't think that it, it's an adjustment. And you still have those older people too that are still in oh, yeah. film that are very conventional and and are are stuck in their ways. Some of them are married and gay themselves. Yeah, like they're. they're I still... think that's what people's problem is. Yeah. If if I'm married to a woman, and I'm going around telling everybody I love this woman, this is my queen, but then I go around the corner and the cast is getting their, their cheeks clapped. Mm-hmm. That's an that's an issue. Well, but then that's, also that, that, that's deceitful to the woman. Oh yeah. And you, you're not being honest. You go in public and like, oh yeah, I don't really deal with that. But you go around the corner and you, now you're clapping cheeks. That's yeah. right. That's bring the home, issue. Bring it on home, Nas. Let's go. Well, no, <laughs> I, I mean, feel like you're, you're going into it. Go ahead. 
No, I'm not, I mean that's the. I think that's the point. People don't have a, an issue if you want to be if you want to be a homosexual man. Go ahead, dog. Dude, I'm not losing sleep. Yeah, I'm not, no, he's not losing sleep. B. Brandon's not losing sleep. Nobody's losing sleep that you're doing whatever you're doing. You're grown. Dude, I, I think it's more of a comfortability thing too. Like while while like being gay is more acceptable now, it's still not acceptable. Does that make sense? Like more people struggle with coming out because it's such a big thing. Like you know, it, it's almost like freedom in a sense like you have someone that's been hiding for all this time and now they're able to come out it's a lot because now you 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 build up these things in your own mind like all right people are looking at me a certain way or or all these worries and all these other things like hove spoke about that even when his mom came out he was like he felt so gracious for her and and felt a sense of pride mm -hmm. in her because now he knew that she was free like they all knew it but she was never comfortable enough to just say yo this is what it is yeah and I think once they embraced her, like, yo, we knew. Like, we were just waiting for you yeah. to come out. Everything everything was peace. But kind of going back to what you're saying with deception, I mean, I think that it's more about that, right? Deceiving someone. The same mm -hmm. way that if a man had a side chick and you deceive your woman that has been there with you the whole time, you're cheating with someone else. Yeah. And, like, what yeah. if that straight man gets an STD and gives it back to his wife? Yeah. It's just deception across the board. So I don't even think it's necessarily the fact that they, they are gay themselves. It's just that. I think that... We're, we're in like a weird period right now because it's kind of like, I want to say split, but you have like the, the millennial periods and the people who are more progressive, but we still have a lot of the older people who are kind of like, we're, or during the time it's more like hush hush or even yeah. if you're gay, well you still need to marry this man to hide yep. so no one knows and I don't want my, my girlfriends at the salon to find out or this or that. So I think that that's that, right? Um, and I also think that we are in this situation too where for even some people, they are accepting of people who are gay or on the LGBTQIA community. But for them, it's like, it's okay as long as it's not my kid yeah, or within my family. The, the funny shit is, while we're talking about this, which I think is so interesting. So I was watching a documentary last night, night before last, about the porn industry. And mm. uh, the first big AIDS ep epidemic that came out years ago. They called this guy Patient Zero. He was like one of the most famous porn stars ever. And he had must have he had done, I think it was like a thousand and forty-seven scenes he had slept with that they know of about like five hundred women. They all were sick with AIDS. And they couldn't figure it out until until they did research and started fig figuring out, all right, this person has it, this person has it, this person has it. Who's the common denominator? So I think the guy's name was Mark. If Mark something. Sounds about right. But this it definitely guy, sounds like a mark thing. But the, cra do. the crazy shit is, no one knew that this dude was, um, he was addicted to cocaine, all types of drugs, and he was a male escort, and he got it because he was secretly gay. Mm. That's crazy. Wow. That's, that's, yeah, that's about wild. the action, more about the cover up, right? So, can, so can, that, can, they can they prove that it came from a gay man and not one of those uh, 500 women? Well, I don't. Well, no, no. That's the thing. They, they um, if in the documentary they break down like all of these women were not sick until sleeping with him. That's how he was the common denominator. He's probably a mark with a C. Yeah, they he, they, they probably also f figured out like maybe determine later on who he slept who with. But, yeah, that's what it was. But, but but what if he slept with a woman outside the porn industry that gave it to him? How well, they know. That well, that, that's what it was. That's what I'm saying. That he, Why are you he, defending he, Mark? Yeah, I don't know. But that's what they were saying. They're saying that he. <laughs> I did stop. They think that he had gotten it from, um, from uh, having relations outside of you know like the porn industry, and then they found out that he was sleeping with with guys. He was a male escort. That came out like a few years later, and then they were like, oh shit, well damn. But then like they, it, it, it's a crazy documentary. I'll, I'll get the name of it. But they, he like forged fucking. Um, with his uh, health documents? Yeah, he said his health clean. documents. But then it came back that on this day, there was like a, a magical mix-up in the lab where he didn't really forge it, but the the um, the male gender, female gender, those were switched up. So he came in and said, yo, here are, my, here are my medical records. Everyone has been passing them for years. But then they're like, oh, yo, this says female and lives in such and such. But it really was his records. So at, for a while, they really didn't know whether or not he had oh, AIDS wow. or not. And then it came it came out that he, had, in fact, did have AIDS. And then he tied everything back to him sleeping with all of these women and then and them all having AIDS. And then they were like, all right, well, how is this happening? Because they didn't know. And he kept pushing it off. They kept saying, yo, you're the only person that has not gotten tested. You need to get tested. And he's like, oh, I'll get to it. I'll get, like, I'm not worried about it. 
the woman that he had scenes with a bunch of times who I guess was his friend or some shit like yeah. that um, went and said, yo, Mark, where they she kidnapped him or some shit. She what? kidnapped him. She said, yo, we're going to do a scene and I'll give you $10,000 or whatever. And she said, yo, I feel horrible to this day because I, it went against um, my medical practice and everything I stand for. But she was like, I knew I had a gut feeling that he was patient zero and he was the one that was killing people, essentially. So they tied him up took his blood, did all this crazy shit, and he he had AIDS. That's a mark with so, a C. So, yeah, I, wow. say, I say that to say it's crazy, uh, to, to Nas's point, people that can't really be comfortable in themselves. Like, he, mm-hmm. what's to say that he didn't want to do, like, gay scenes, but because he wasn't comfortable back then, and that was, that was really not the in thing to do at that time, yeah. he didn't feel comfortable with it. So he was still smashing women and, and still smashing guys, but keeping the guy shit to himself. Mm-hmm. And then now, you know, everyone fucking sick and dying. So it's because of you, Mark. Yeah. So I mean, moral of the story is be be you, <laughs> be yeah. you. Don't Fuck sleep with niggas named Mark. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. I'll, I'll I'll be damned. Yeah. It's it's crazy out there. Like I just I don't know. I just feel like for as it's like as as diverse and open and just so many progress that we have seen that pe- we're just still behind in times with certain things. Yeah. And it was interesting because I actually had a whole conversation with someone, right? I had a conversation with them about the Kinsey scale because they were just like, oh, uh, this person had a phase or this person, you know, turned gay. And I'm like, uh, you can't just turn gay. Like, that's not it. Like, in the Kinsey scale, it basically says that there is a population of people that are completely straight. There's a population of people that are completely bi. There's a population of people who are completely gay. But then everyone else falls along the spectrum. Mm-hmm. And there's and so when there's times where you see women who've, like, dated men all their lives and then all of a sudden end up with a woman, that means they're on that scale where they're not 100% straight. Yeah. So there is that possibility that they can feel some sort of feelings towards a woman. And some for some people, it's not it may not be entirely sexual. It may just be an emotional thing that they just that specific person only that they're attracted to. Yeah. I've seen some I mean, I've seen some crazy stuff out there. So and crazy in the sense of like people just all of a sudden just like liking someone out of nowhere and just so that's why I'm like sexuality is not as black and white. And I know people are gonna be like, but I'm hundred percent straight. I'm not saying that you're straight or you're not straight. I'm just saying with other people that for they could fall along those some lines. Some people it's complicated. Yeah, some it's a little people, more complicated. Some people find out later on in their life that their sexual orientation that they've been living the entire time that they've been alive may not really be what is for them. And saw, that's okay. I saw something on Maury. The dude, he made a full transition to a woman. Got married. He got off the twig and berries and everything. And then his husband found out that he was born a guy, divorced him. Then he came out and said, well, I don't like men anymore. I'm going back to women. Yeah, that's crazy. So, fam, you cut off your twig and berries. What are you going to do? Yeah, how does that work? Do you, can you yeah. get it? No, back? you can't get that back. No, right? no, no. But mm-hmm. I think it's like, okay, so they cut I, it, I don't. And they and turn it inside out. For real? And stuff it up. Yeah. yeah. But the thing oh, is, is I think it's in terms of, of of who they're attracted to, I don't think it's necessarily dictated by what gender they were born with. It's just, I guess, their preference. Oh, it's a gene. It's, it's, it's like their preference. Yeah, it's like, it's like if they are bisexual, whether they are, you know, whether they make themselves a man or a woman, they're still bisexual. Yeah. I don't, he could be whatever he is. I don't care. He got off his twig and berries, and you ain't getting that back. Yeah, that's, that's tough. It's over. That's tough. Well, some people are fine with that. Yeah. He wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, I guess for for the fans, listeners, viewers, let us know what you guys think. Um, obviously, about all topics today, who who should be in the gram, uh, uh, Grammy nominations? Give us your thoughts on everything Marvel, especially with this, uh, this past week, and then also uh, albums that came out. Uh, obviously, we didn't cover everything. We couldn't, it's but it's a lot. It's yeah, a lot to cover. It's, it's in a lot terms to music. cover. So we'll we'll catch up. People don't kill us, but there's a lot to digest. And obviously, you want us to do our due diligence and, and be spot on. So we're not going to rush the process. Um, so our our pick this week obviously was uh, XX and Alicia Cara. And then lastly, tell us your thoughts on this Kevin Hart, uh, Nick Cannon, all this crazy shit that's happening. Do you stand by Nick Cannon? Do you stand by uh, Kevin Hart? What are your thoughts? Let us know. Um, and that's it. That's that's our show for today. Um, 
I think I think you did a good job today. I tried. Yeah. You, I you tried. tried. Give it a yeah, give it give it up for now. I feel I'm you sorry. Though. I'm sorry. My nah, voice nah, is, is, is no, no. Terrible. You did what you need to do. Listen, yeah. we, we we're about that life. I was sick last episode. I'm still kind of sick now. Yeah. So let me know in the comments if you hate me. I don't really care. Yeah, Nas is never gonna care. Um, I still hate you. <laughs> Contact yeah. him. Regular yeah, underscore Nas. Regular Nas. Word. Uh, yeah, underscore. Don't forget the underscore. <laughs> definitely check us out. Grassroots Pod and Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, group chat will be in the link as it always is. We have a ball in that motherfucker every day yeah. and then um, pre-sales on sweater uh sweatshirts yeah definitely or hoodies excuse me on on hoodies yes Pre-sale uh on hoodies yeah check uh any one of our pages we have the link up for our hoodies those are limited limited editions they'll after, be in the description section yeah too. they'll be in the description section so make sure you pre-order now because there is a limited release for them and then once they're out they are out and then um also what was the last thing i wanted you guys to, oh yeah so we have a guest episode dropping we need to do yeah we that. have a guest episode on friday yeah. we actually now instead of uh, dropping just guest episodes on tuesday we're gonna be dropping our own episodes every tuesday and whenever we have guest episodes we're gonna drop them on friday same time as we do on tuesday so yeah. be prepared for those for audio and for video and uh let's just say that this person's in uh hip-hop Yep. That's all I'll say. He's in hip-hop. You'll just have to catch it on Friday. It'll be a good listen. We we enjoyed it, so can't wait for you guys to check it out. Uh, That said, I'm Brandon Killer BH Hall. I'm Aaron Ashley Simon. I'm regular Nas. I'm Wilson. I'm Wilson. (laughs) 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 We out. (laughs) Grass, 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 grass.